Humans have been getting drunk on purpose since prehistoric times. Studies show that a substantial percentage of crimes are committed while the perpetrator is intoxicated. Does voluntary intoxication excuse criminal behavior? The defendant argued that it should, in State v. Cameron. Joseph McKinney was playing cards with some other guys in a vacant lot. Michelle Cameron arrived and disrupted the game. Cameron had with her a quart of wine that she was drinking and sharing with others. About a pint of wine was consumed. When the card players moved away to escape her, Cameron turned over the table and attacked McKinney with a broken bottle. When police arrived, Cameron threw a bottle at their vehicle, shouted obscenities, and tried to fight them off. She was restrained and handcuffed. Cameron was indicted for aggravated assault, possession of a weapon with the intent to use it unlawfully, and resisting arrest. At trial, Cameron testified that she was very intoxicated and felt pretty bad. She maintained that she acted to protect herself from being sexually assaulted by McKinney and the others, and she was angry at the police for arresting her and not McKinney. The trial court rejected Cameron's request that the jury be charged to consider her intoxication as a defense. The jury convicted Cameron of all charges. Cameron appealed, and the appellate division reversed, holding that voluntary intoxication is a defense when it negates an intent element of a crime and that the trial court should have submitted the issue to the jury. The state appealed to the New Jersey Supreme Court.